104.7 The Cave, Mike the intern in the studio with Megan today for another edition of Online Reviews. As always, these are not our views on anyone, any item, any company. According to our lawyers, I must tell you, these are reviews we just found online. They don't sue us. Megan always comes into the studio, talks about things I find online, tries to read them. And that's it. Last week, we talked about Uber, and I figured it went so well, we should do it again. Right? Yes. <laughs> Warn the people what they might find or encounter. So we're talking about some crazy Uber reviews. Here's the first one. Megan, take it away. It says, my Uber just called me and said, I'm not a good driver. Where should I get you? <laughs> is it too late to cancel after they're like, yeah, no, it isn't. You can cancel even if they haven't picked you up yet. Usually. You can, but it costs you like five bucks, I think, or something well, like that. If you better cancel. than being stuck with somebody who doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> Next one says, I was refused by yet another Uber driver yesterday because I am blind and use a guide dog, and I got charged the cancellation fee. Oh, that oh, sucks. No. What a jerk. Dude, that's not cool. No, that's not cool at all, man. That guy, no, no bueno. Obviously, I would have let you in my car because I love dogs, so whatever. Right, same here. This one says, SOS, my Uber driver said he was going to kidnap me. <laughs> That's terrifying. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> no, but I've only used Uber like twice so far, so. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody I know. <laughs> Says, uh, this is talking to at Uber support. Cab tonight got pulled over by the cops and we were sent walking because the vehicle was, quote unquote, unfit for transport. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Because if you think about it, like when you see a house that's unfit for someone to live in, like right? That's got to be a pretty dilapidated house, right? What about yeah, the vehicle? Yeah, like condemned, right? Yeah, so. they have, there's like a, probably like wooden uh, wooden bleachers in the back seat. Anyway, we'll get to more Uber, Uber reviews on the way next. Online reviews on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the intern and Megan in the studio. It is online reviews again discussing the perils of using Uber. Bad Uber reviews. Uber's great, Lyft's great. I'm not we're not dogging Uber or Lyft here. We're dogging the drivers that were bad at their job. And I wonder if they're actually still with the company or after getting stuff like this back from reviews. Anyway, here we go, Megan. First time Uber user and driver flees from police with me in the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> Took taxi to destination and Uber still charged me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like there just there has to be some rules, guys. Like there has to be some guidelines. Ethics. Like <laughs> yeah, we need to have a, a code here that we all need to live by. These guys are not doing. It. No. How do I reach customer service? A driver of yours hit my car and had no insurance. Oh, no. That's a bad situation. How do they get away with that? Because they're, like, actually pretty big oh, dude, on they're that. They're extremely strict. He must have been lying or something. I mean, who knows? Or may have dropped or went, went out without insurance after he signed up. Who knows? Gosh. This one says, the creepy Uber driver from Thursday just called me four times. <laughs> oh, Wait, so God. they get your number? What? Like, Oh, my God. All right, here's the last one for this segment. Uh, driver never ended my trip, and I was charged $113 for a five-minute ride. Map follows her across the state. How do I fix this? <laughs> Someone needs to fix the map. We'll get to part three on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave. Mike, the intern in the studio with Megan this morning talking about some the uh, Unfortunate Uber situations, part two of our Uber reviews, and we've heard of people taking too long for a drive. We've heard of uh, cop involvement. Now we're going to hear probably the best pickup line I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> As a Dominican Uber driver, you have kids? Me? No. Him? You want some? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no T on the end of one. No, it's that's, just that's the best part. That's the best part. And uh, <laughs> again, the best pickup line I've ever heard in my life. This next one says, my Uber driver is holding my phone for ransom, saying it will cost 40 bucks to get it. What? That sounds... Uh... See, these are like some creepy drivers. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Yeah. Here's the next one. This one doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. To me, but maybe you know. It's when an eighth grader gets in Uber pool with you. Thumbs up. <laughs> So the Uber pools are like you get it's like a line so you get to like pick up other people and then they drive you they drop uh, you off destination. Uh, okay, gotcha. Well, hey, you know what? You got to do what you got to do, and that's how we're <laughs> gonna go out. Sometimes people got to eat. <laughs> My Uber driver stopped to pick up Chinese food. <laughs> WTF. Yeah, there's, and she, it's just like a picture of an empty car. Oh, I know. It's like he just left him there. Hold on. I'll be right back. That's when you walk and hit cancel. Megan, thank you so much. Thank you.